What's up, guys? Stas here. So check it out. Palantir stock is looking pretty interesting ahead of earnings on Monday, which they're after the bell on Monday, if you guys didn't know. And currently when I'm making this video, it's Friday. It's about 1.15 on the East Coast, and we have Palantir up almost 2.5%. And earlier in the day, guys, it was up almost 5%. Percent. You heard that right, guys. Almost 5%. So we're going to break down the charts here ahead of earnings, do an update on Palantir stock, and we'll break down the entire stock market later in the video, the S&P, Dow, NASDAQ, Russell, and we'll take a look at some other stocks if we have time. So stick on throughout, guys. Hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe and make sure to follow me on X and on TikTok. Those are linked down below at Stas Talk Stocks or just type in Stas Surfest. You'll find me on there, guys. Guys, and with that being said, cheers. Let's dive right into the video. So again, Palantir stock is up 2.3% right now. And earlier in the day, you can see right here in the pre-market, we were ripping up to the mid 23s and now we're pretty much holding 23 flat we've been consolidating there for the past couple of days and you guys can see here on the five day five minute with this morning's move to the mid 23s we actually took out the highs from yesterday from earlier in the week and actually from the end of last week as well so this is very good news overall for the bulls guys take a look at this if i draw this out did we not have a triangle heading into today i mean look at this guys we had a resistance at 23 bucks we were making higher lows into that resistance and i believe we covered this a bit in my video yesterday and now we're just taking that out this is really bullish guys overall for palantir heading into earnings and it seems like people are buying the stock up heading into earnings. Maybe they're speculating a bit. Of course, they are speculating on the, you know, on the short-term price action, but yeah, that's kind of what we're seeing. Look at the volume spike here on the bottom as well, guys. There's a lot of shares um, you know, exchanging hands today for Palantir and Palantir, um, which is expected the day before earnings, right? So we're breaking out on the 5-day, on the intraday, and on the 10-day chart here, guys, we're noticing the same thing, right? The ascending triangles playing out. We're breaking out to the mid 23s. And here on the 20 day, um, yeah, we're at a fresh high on the 20 day as well. You guys can see here, not only was 23 bucks resistance yesterday, the last couple of days, this entire week, but also it was resistance for the entire month of April, right? You can see clearly time and time again, we got rejected at $23 per share. And now we're taking that out, which is phenomenal. And on the four hour time frame, which we talked about this yesterday, look at this. We have this channel. Let me draw it out for those of you guys. Um, well, that didn't watch the video, which if you didn't watch the video last night, what the heck are you doing, guys? Make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any content here. But we talked about this and look at this. Now we're starting to break out of the channel on the four hour time frame. And notice we're above the moving averages as well, which is phenomenal, guys. So let's see if we can hold 23, maybe start making a move back to the mid 23s into close today that'd be ideal overall for the bulls if we did something like this right and especially if we took out the highs from earlier today that'd be even better right so palantir let's see if it can hold 23 which as of now it is and start to make that move back to the mid 23s and of course what could happen if they crush earnings guidance is phenomenal we could get something like this in my humble opinion, right? We could get a full on breakout, which of course is not guaranteed. I'm not telling you guys to go buy and speculate on the stock before earnings. I'm not doing that, full disclosure. I'm not. I'm going to wait until after earnings, even if that means I miss the move, whatever. It is what it is because, guys, listen, I've been burned in the past trying to gamble on earnings, buying calls, buying puts, doing this, buying shares, doing that. You know, it, it just doesn't work overall long term at least for me um, and I don't I don't buy or do anything like that around earnings in my trading portfolio it just is what it is at this point guys but uh yeah keeping my eyes on Palantir right here as the entire stock market today guys is crushing it every index is up we have the Nasdaq up a whopping 
2%. And you can thank Apple for that, which I do have an Apple video coming out later today. You can thank Apple because Apple's up around, what, 7% right now, completely breaking out here on the four hour chart. So that's obviously dragging up the entire stock market. We have the Russell up 0.9%. Again, NASDAQ's up 2%. Like I said, SPY is up around 1.2%. And we have the Dow up the same 1.2% as now the VIX is back down over 6% on the day. And now we're back under 14 points on the VIX. And take a look here at SPY, guys, with this move today of over 1.2%. We're taking out the highs from a couple of days ago. And now we're pretty much right at the 180 moving average, which if that breaks, maybe SPY could be going for its next leg up, right? Potentially, it's not guaranteed, but it could be going for its next leg up. And Triple Q, if you guys take a look at this, it's right at the 180 moving average as well. It's testing it right now. Will we break? Time will tell, guys. Time will tell, uh, but we're not fully breaking out quite yet. But again, we're testing it right now. This is a big spot. So let me take a look at some other stocks right now that are moving, obviously, other than Apple. Looks like GameStop is moving today. Wait a second, guys. What's going on? I think yesterday uh, GameStop went up 17%, or was that two days ago? Actually, that was yesterday, right? Either way, now it's up again. It looks like it's up another 7% right now. So GameStop is up 25% from yesterday's low. I'm not sure if there's any um, catalyst. Probably not, right? Yeah, there's no catalyst. It looks like here GameStop stock climbed 17% for biggest gain since November. That was yesterday. Sparks memories of crazy meme volatility, which you guys know, we're not getting those meme stock rallies anymore. That's pretty much over with. It's been over with, right? AMC, AM, or I was going to say AMD, not AMD. <laughs> AMC, GameStop, you know, all the other ones, BlackBerry, they're pretty much, there's one nail left in the coffin, right? And those things are done. Uh, maybe they could run in the short term like we're seeing on GameStop here. But if you think we're going to get a Moaz or something like that, come on, you're dreaming. That's over with. You guys all know that already pretty much. Uh, but hey, we are seeing a nice rally on GameStop today yet again off the backs of yesterday's rally. And it looks like NVIDIA is trying to get over 900 bucks per share again, which I mean, I'm, I'm kind of kicking myself for not buying this up here um, as a trade. I mean, it was pretty obvious in hindsight. Obviously, hindsight's 2020. Uh, but it is what it is. When we got down to the mid-high 700s, I had a feeling, I mean, pretty much everybody did, uh, that this was going to bounce back, at least in the short term, and I didn't pick it up. It is what it is. Now we're up 16% off the lows, and now we're potentially starting to break out of this channel with earnings coming up in the next couple of weeks here. I think two weeks we have, um, in two weeks, we have NVIDIA's earnings, so keep your eyes on NVDA as it is heating up heading into earnings. But another thing worth mentioning, guys, be very careful. If this thing rips a ton heading into earnings and maybe we get disappointing guidance or anything similar to what we saw with SMCI and AMD in terms of their stock performance, this could end up falling. And by stock performance, I mean after they reported earnings. You guys probably saw SMCI, Super Micro Computer, this stock collapsed after earnings. And by the way, it ran up into earnings, which is what we're seeing with NVIDIA. So SMCI ran up, earnings came out, boom. We saw a big drop of around 250 bucks per share, which is nuts. AMD did the same thing, right? It ran up a little bit, I believe. Uh, yeah, it ran up from around what? 145 to 162 before earnings. Earnings came out. Boom. We gave back that entire gain. So be careful. I'm not saying for sure that's going to happen with NVIDIA, but I'm just saying be careful, guys. Be careful as we are up almost 20% off the lows heading into earnings. And who knows? We might be overbought, way overbought into earnings, which is always a vulnerable spot for a stock. I don't know. NVIDIA is um, you know, a different breed at the end of the day. So it could continue to go up, but I'm just saying, 
be cautious, right? So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And feel free to check out my Patreon. I actually just bought more of a stock yesterday. My Patreon portfolio. You get all my moves, buys, sells, full transparency, returns, all that good stuff on Patreon down below. There's also a QR code right here. Or just go to stasurfest.com slash Patreon, guys. There's also a Discord chat. You get more access to me throughout the day. And you get to see my charts and ideas whenever I post them, all that good stuff, guys. So check it out down below. Cheers. I'll catch you guys in the next one.